on my father's side, not, my father's side, I'm not sure uh, to what extent they knew, uh, they had firsthand experience with these kinds of dangers. Uh, this is where the history gets a little shady. So, uh, so my, my grandfather, my father's father, um, I think his cousin, his uh, cousin on his mother's side, he, uh, I think he got involved with some communist organizations, perhaps even some intelligence services. Not sure if it was in the context of military intelligence in the war or uh, before that, but uh, perhaps he had some inkling about what the regime is really like and what you want to and not want to do. Maybe there are probably scary enough stories from, uh, I mean, there was a time in the 20s and 30s where, uh, you know, the people be seized in the middle of the night. I think these stories, these rumors get around. You, it's, it's not hard to learn to, uh, you know, how to get by in this kind of regime. On my uh, mother's side, uh, her father, her father was younger. Uh, he was fairly young when the war started. Uh, he, for some reasons, knew a lot about what happened during the, um, what we call it a skolachivania. I'm not sure what it is in English. It's, it is when, uh, when a kulak, any farmer who was, uh, who was considered a wealthy farmer, independent mm -hmm. farmer, not old peasant, uh, oh, well, he must have done something wrong. Uh, two, three horses, far too many to have not cheated. So therefore, let's take that away and send them off to the east. So uh, these stories come back from my mother's father. I'm not sure if he heard from, if he read it, he heard it, but he was just, he really knew a lot about that. Um, also, once he was trained and started fighting later in the war. He was actually in the Stalingrad battle and he saw uh, quite a brutal uh, war, um, both in terms of the savagery of, of that battle and also uh, of the Soviet and military uh, regime. He saw people being shot uh, for disobedience or, uh, uh, you know, he, he really, it sounds like he really s saw the, the, the face of uh, the brutality and, uh, and he may have known more firsthand um, uh, how to hang low. Uh, he, he, it seems like he, he was more, he found a balance where he knew somewhat better how to find the, uh, how to use benign connections to get you know, some products that were not available immediately. Uh, and he would know, would know where the surplus is and whom to ask for some transaction. So he would knew how to support his family a little bit better maybe, but uh, he also knew not to do anything that he wouldn't be able to sleep at night.